Hey y'all, this is Nikki and I'm back. Um, I had made a video earlier showing you how I make hot pepper wax to uh, keep like different uh, critters away like squirrels, raccoons. As y'all know, I live near the bayou so we have plenty of animals. I don't really have a problem where I'm at because of our fence but I did see some posts where uh, some of the women were saying how the um, their cantaloupe and their melons were being eaten um, and they wanted to have a home remedy or something I guess uh, organic to keep animals away so I mixed it up I did a video but hold on y'all I'm cooking making some other potatoes turn this temperature down okay so um Okay, so I made a video, but it, it wasn't very steady. So I was like, let me come back and just show y'all again. What I basically make out of this, let me show y'all, and get up close. What's in here, it's uh, water, um, habanero peppers. I put about eight in here. The hotter, the spicier. And uh, two cloves of garlic. You can just be creative, make it as spicy as you want. But this is strong, so when you make it, I advise you to wear gloves. I advise you to, if you can, take your blender, get an extension cord, take it outside because it does produce fumes with the pepper. And also, if you have any, if you're, um, if you're an asthmatic or you have any breathing issues, then do not make it, have someone make it for you where you're not around it because it will irritate your bronchioles and you might end up having an asthma attack just forewarning you because of the pepper, how strong it is. And that's pretty much what it's gonna do to the critter. They'll smell it and they'll stay away. So um, you can use it. Now, once you have it in the bottle, that's it. You don't, you don't even smell it anymore. It's like contained. Uh, and also, once you make it, let it sit for several hours. Like make it the day before, let it sit, let it just build up, and then spray it. And there's also dishwashing liquid in here. You put a little bit of dis dishwashing liquid, a few drops, and that's what makes it work. When you spray it, that's what makes it stick to the leaves or the surrounding area. That's what, what does it. So I'll post a recipe um but basically it's just those four ingredients water habanero peppers garlic and dishwashing liquid okay so y'all saw me when i was saying i was making um some other potatoes i try to use every part of the things that i make in the kitchen i try to reuse them so my potato um skins that i use from killing them i put them in i make a compost tea i have a compost pile outside but i also make a compost tea to water uh, my plants and my vegetables with so now this container right here you can pick this up they sell these at like the little mom and pop stores um this is like a dollar dollar fifty at most that they shouldn't charge you more than that but it has a lid you can keep it in your kitchen you know you don't really have any problems with it the smell stays contained but basically what i have in here right now i have uh some banana peels i get my bananas from the uh, reduced rack uh i'm not a big banana eater normally we cook plantain but when i see these on the on the uh reduced clearance in the produce section i save the peels now if i'm making a compost tea i just put the peels in there like that uh if i'm making if i'm putting it into my fertilizer to make organic fertilizer then what i do is i will bake um uh, bake them until they get really crisp and brown in the oven crumble them up and I put them in the blender, like a, either my blender or one of this little container here. Normally, it just depends on how many I have to, to process. And I mix it up with some, um, the bananas are for the potassium. I use the eggshells for the calcium. And then I also have, like I said, the potato skins. There's also some tomatoes in here, as you can see. A little bit of byproducts from like some leaves. I just put a little bit of everything. And then I add some water in here. And I just pretty much let it marinate. Oops, sorry, sorry, y'all, my hand. Um, I let it marinate. I add some more water to it in about three or four days. And I take it, I pour it in my uh, container, my other uh, watering can, and then I water my plants with them. So I'm just sharing those tips with you. I hope um, you picked up some tips and tricks. All right, y'all have a good day.